What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get involved with raid trade and probably position yourself to receive some airdrop. So this is a fairly new on the one year protocol that has been running on Arbitrum. Um, it has some crazy stats, They're, they've been doing really good. And after the token launch on Arbitrum, I am expecting some more airdrop and some more tokens, um, some more projects and protocol creating their nati native token now that Arbitrum is out. So pretty easy. This is going to be under 10 minutes. So let's go straight into it. So why I do like rate trade. If we go to token terminal and we look for the trending contract, we can click on Arbitrum. You can see that one of the protocol that is coming up is let's see i think it was on number 24 yeah is rate trade so right now for the last 90 days um they have a gas use sixty thousand dollars transaction count two hundred and ninety two thousand and active users at twenty nine thousand which is pretty good now if we go to the website and check the analytics we can see that they have a total value lock of 15.12 million dollars pretty good um, trading volume is at 369 million and the average APY is 8.91, which is for the vaults. Cool. So now what we need to use rate trade. Rate trade is basically um, a trading protocol. So super easy. There's nothing else you can do on the protocol um, other than staking and taking trade. So super easy. Um, first, we need to go to the website, which um, the best way to do it is going to DeFi Lama look for raise trade and then you can click, um, click on the website so you can just make sure that you're clicking on the right website from there you're going to need some arbitrum you're going to need um, an arbitrum wallet so you need a metamask then you add your arbitrum network and you need to have some ethereum on your wallet number two um, this needs some usdc to trade so that means after having your ethereum on your Arbitrum wallet, you will need to be swapping some Ethereum for USDC. The minimum will be $20. As for myself, instead of me using one inch Sushi Swap or Uniswap, I actually like to use other protocols that are also tokenless. So hopefully, I'm going to be receiving some airdrop on Rage Trade and also um, some airdrop on some of the other protocols that are tokenless. Um, other protocols that are um, tokenless is Share Protocol. Um, this is my Notion template. You can find a uh, link in the description for it, which is what I use to track all my airdrops. So I'm going to go here, then click on use the app. And the good thing is that I have some Ethereum. I need some USDC, right? So I'm going to type just to make sure $21. I'm going to swap, confirm, then pay for the transaction fee. Um, let's see. Okay, confirm here. And then we can go back to rate trade. I think this is asking me to change. No. Okay, cool. Then we can go back here. Then here I can click on deposit. We can go to the main account. Let's see here. And click on deposit. I'm going to type, um, let me just type max. Let me refresh this because I just received it. Deposit, max, and let's let's go ahead and confirm again. So that's why you need to have some Ethereum on Arbitrum because you need to be paying for the transaction fees at least ten to twenty dollars worth of Ethereum to pay for the transaction. Usually, it is sitting around um, forty cents. So let's go ahead and, and confirm here. After confirming, now that we have the funds, we can take some trades. Right now, it is only available for Ethereum and um, Ethereum USDC, and you can only take some long and short. As for myself, I only take long, and I am not really looking for a profit here. What I am looking for is getting involved with the protocol. Now, I know that a lot of people might say $20 is not enough, $50 is not enough. Maybe, but for me, I got my airdrop from Arbitrum just by doing transactions. And I didn't reach the $10,000 goal that they were asking um, for one of the requirements. So again, what you could do, because some of these protocols, what they do is the they calculate the trading volume based on the amount of transactions. So let's say that you have $100 and you take one position, you close that and you take another position of $100. Usually they will calculate it as a $200 trading volume. So if you want to reach 
a thousand dollars in trading volume and you only have a hundred dollars well you only need 10 trades what you could do is take two trades per week even if you are taking losses or taking profit just try um, to remain between one dollar two dollar losses or profit close your position and go back to it as you can see right now i have an open position which is i am down only one dollar and i have a let's see leverage right now i think it is at one point yeah 1.42 so as for me usually i would be sitting between two x leverage i don't want to be increasing it more than that because i don't want to be losing my funds and again i am not looking to make a profit on these protocols so let's go ahead and take a trade what i'm gonna do is just type uh twenty dollars right let's open a long you can also add the slippage we do swap then we need to confirm the transaction so again forty dollars to forty i'm sorry forty cents to get in and 40 cents to get out most likely that would be the gas fees that you're gonna see so right now as you can see it is a little bit higher 61 cents but usually when i am using it it is between 40 to 50 cents more or less so now confirm let's see this should increase my position okay so token position is a little bit higher cool I'm gonna need to probably reload this so I can show it to you. Let's see, okay, so cool. Entry price, um, funding, funding rate means that depending if the position is positive, then um, the shorts will be paying you a little bit of funding rate. If the position is negative, then the longs will be paying the shorts. Super simple, but it is not a crazy amount of money. Now, the second thing that you can do on the protocol is vaults here but right now they are full completely so as you can see it says um cap rich and here also it says cap rich so there is nothing to do here so for trading again what i would do is open a position wait three days close that position and then open a second position so basically you could be opening and closing at least two to three positions per week and by the end of the month you should have between 10 to 15 position taken on the protocol super simple and again don't try to make a profit the goal here is just to get involved with the protocol and um get the airdrop so hopefully position yourself to get the airdrop so yeah super simple um if you think that this content is valuable as usual leave a like subscribe talk to you later bye bye